Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. In today's quick tip, I'm gonna introduce you to the CC plastic effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. You can use the CC plastic effect if you want to make things, well, look like plastic. You can also use the CC plastic effect if you wanna add some textures to your assets in Adobe After Effects, which I think is pretty cool. And lastly, you can use the CC plastic effect to create kind of a line art effect if you like that blueprint look, well, you can create some pretty cool results using the CC plastic effect. I'm gonna come up here, select the shape tool. I'll select the ellipse tool, choose a fill color. I'm just gonna click and drag out a circle. I'll hold the shift key to make it a perfect circle. And to add the CC plastic effect, I'll select the circle shape layer. I'm gonna go up to the effects and presets panel, and I can just do a search for plastic, P-L-A-S-T-I-C. There you will see the CC plastic effect is under the stylized category. I can just select the CC plastic effect and drag it right onto the circle shape layer. And with the circle shape layer selected in the layers panel, you can customize the CC plastic effect in the effect controls panel. And as you can see right away, it almost has a beveled and embossed look to it, giving it kind of a plastic look right with the default settings. The best way to learn these is really just go through each of the properties, just change the values, play around with these, and try to get a look that you like. And now let's look at how you can use the CC plastic effect to add some texture or grunge. First, I'm going to select the main orange layer down in the layers panel, then go to the effects and presets panel. I'll do a search for plastic, and I'll just double click on the CC plastic effect to apply it to the orange. With the orange layer still selected, I'm gonna to go to the effect controls panel. I'm gonna twirl open surface bump. I'm gonna change the softness from 20 down to 4.1. For height, I'm gonna change it to 16. For cut min, I'm gonna change that to 37 and I'll change the cut max to 46. Now let's add a little movement by adding a wiggle expression on the cut min and the cut max. I press the Option key on a Mac, Alt on Windows, and click on the stopwatch next to Cut Min. I'll type in Wiggle, open and close parentheses. I'll do five, comma one. I'm gonna copy it, Command C, Option or Alt next to Cut Max. I'm gonna paste it in. And this time I'm gonna change it to 0.5. Go real subtle, tap the spacebar, and now we've got a little movement if that's a little too much, you can just change the speed. Maybe I'll change this down to three. And now we've got some subtle movement in the texture. I'm gonna select the CC plastic effect in the effect controls and copy it to my clipboard. Command or control C. And then I'm gonna to toggle on the visibility for the text layer and just paste it. Edit, paste, or command or control V. And now I have the texture along with the wiggle expression on both the text and the orange. Pretty cool to create this line art blueprint style effect. First, I generated the artwork using Adobe Firefly. With that layer selected, I went to the effects and presets, search for plastic and drag the CC plastic effect right on top of that layer. So I'm gonna twirl open the effect. I'm gonna twirl open surface bump. I'll change softness down to zero. For height, I'm gonna change that to 100. For cut min, I'm gonna change this to 66. I'll change the cut max to 44. All right. I'm gonna twirl open the light section. Light intensity, I'm gonna change that to 302. I'm gonna change the light height all the way up to 100. And for the light direction, I'm gonna change this to 35. Then I'm gonna twirl open shading. I'm gonna change the ambient and diffuse both to zero. I'm gonna change dust to 65. Specular, I'm gonna change that to 69. For roughness, I'm gonna change this to 0.35. And for metal, I'm gonna change that to 19 and then just season to taste. If the line art is what you're going for, play around with the min and the max as you really get some unique results. And to change the color of the line work, you can just go to the effects and presets, do a search for fill, drag the fill effect, and now you can change it to any colors as you want. And you could even duplicate the artwork layer to create kind of a misprint grunge effect. Sky is the limit as usual. And that is the CC plastic effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.